Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and today I'd like to just review the YouTube video that we did for our last newsletter, which was calcium carbide testing. And one of the things uh, where we got that topic from, even though it's not prevalent in the United States, it's definitely something that was discussed on our concrete forum on our Wagner Meters website. So the first thing you had to do in that type of moisture testing was you had to chisel, chisel the concrete. You had to chisel out a certain amount of concrete and pulverize it. So as I've done here is I've very specifically measured the amount of pulverized concrete necessary, put it into a container, and then add the reactant agent to it. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm adding the reactant. Oh, oh, wow. You know what? I'm probably not a chemist. And I have to say that probably many of the people that buy our Rapid RH product and utilize it for testing moisture aren't chemists either. So let's keep it as simple as possible. Let's forget about having to be chemists or recalibration experts and just keep it as easy as possible and straight to the point when we're doing moisture testing in concrete. Stick with the easiest product, most accurate product available on the market the Rapid RH. This is Jason Spangler, signing off.